The UNESCO World Heritage List includes 29 coral reef systems. Sites of outstanding universal value that are protected as part of the common heritage of humanity. They're unique treasures among everything we see in the oceans. But at the same time, they support entire uh, livelihoods. They support uh, local communities, indigenous communities. Those coral reef systems, they're invaluable to humanity. Today, climate change threatens the existence of coral reefs and the people who depend on them. Scientists predict that all World Heritage listed reefs will experience bleaching twice per decade by 2040, leaving no time for them to recover in between. Spelling disaster for those who depend on the reefs. UNESCO, in partnership with the Great Barrier Reef Foundation and a diverse set of global partners, joined together to develop the Resilient Reefs Initiative and appointed Chief Resilience Officers at four initial reefs. In Australia, Joel Johnson is the first Resilience Officer for a UNESCO Marine World Heritage Site. Resilient Reefs is a global program that's aimed at finding local solutions to these really tricky issues like uh, climate change and overfishing and pollution uh, that are affecting our coral reefs. Joel brings scientists, coastal community members, government and businesses together to create a joint strategy for the future of their reef. The goal of, of the resilient strategy is basically to engage really broadly with a wide range of stakeholders to really understand what the key dynamics are between those groups um, and how those dynamics affect reef health generally. Together, they identify threats and risks to their local reef and create a plan to ensure the reef is as resilient as possible to help it withstand climate change. Good to see all the faces from all over the world. I hope you're enjoying it. Resilient Reefs really recognises that healthy coral reef ecosystems rely on healthy communities. In Belize, Beverly Wade connects with Belizean stakeholders. Tourism is the number one income earner in Belize. Eight out of every ten persons that comes to Belize engage in some sort of marine activities, whether it's fishing, whether it's snorkeling, whether it's diving. Our reef is a part of who we are, our identity, our culture and our heritage. The Resilient Reefs Initiative is not about solving the global climate problem, but about building local resilience to inevitable change that is already happening. We're all doing the best we can in our individual countries, but this project gives us the opportunity to come together and to learn from each other, not reinvent the wheel, to find out that somebody may have already solved a problem that we have. The futures of the world's ecological and human systems are deeply interconnected. Protecting nature means protecting people.